Let's talk about something that I'm going to call the Great Reset. And no, I'm not talking about something political. I am talking about that reset button sometimes you need to push after a holiday weekend where maybe you didn't have the best eating um, and <laughs> exercise schedule. Like, say, maybe Thanksgiving. Maybe you didn't eat your best meals on Thanksgiving and then one day turned into a weekend of ordering pizza and skipping your workouts. And you have two choices. It's Monday, so you can push reset and you can get back on track or you can fall into that trap that so many people fall into around holidays and say, well, Christmas is coming up and it's gonna just be a lost cause. And, um, and that transitions from one bad meal into a month of just eating too many Christmas cookies and, and stuff like that. So I just wanna challenge you, if you didn't have your best uh, health, you know, healthy environment over the last couple of days, make a new choice and get back on the horse. And, um, let's, let's do this. Let's finish the year strong, making decisions that build up our health instead of tear it down and realize that, um, eating a, a meal that isn't, you know, the best for you every once in a while, it happens. But the difference between those that ultimately succeed with their health goals and those that don't are the ones that, that own it and say, okay, enough is enough. I'm back on the wagon. Let, let's get after this. So just a little word of encouragement. Maybe um, some of you needed to hear that today. I know sometimes I need that um, that word of encouragement for myself because, you know, we all do it. We all eat things and make choices that um, sabotage where we want to go. And it's just, um, like I said, that's the difference between winning and losing at this game. It's just keep on fighting the good fight. All right, my friends, have a great day.